ich nur Nostalgie. Disclaimer. This game is about answering moral questions that touch a sensitive topic such as suicide, gambling, homicide and drug usage. If you're a sensitive person, do not play this game or watch it. Except if you feel calm with me, the the host of Don't Forget, you know. But I'll be more serious because I have already tried this out. Um, but uh, there is a sound didn't work because I was showing my mom a movie we we're gonna watch today. It's gonna be Holt's movie Castle. I love the movie. She doesn't know it. Um, yeah. Anyway, hey, yeah, my name is Seb, and welcome to Director's Test of Self Awareness by I Am Bogu. It's on itch.io. So, oh, I love the typing. I didn't hear it before. Preparing questions. Preparing safety protocols. Loading survey UI. Running diagnostics. Oh, right, but it's on the trio. If I didn't say it already. Let's load. Is this music? Oh, nice. Initiating survey in three seconds. Okay, I can also, by the way, put my cursor off the screen because I don't need it. Okay. Twelve questions. It's gonna be a long episode, by the way, just so everyone knows. Introduction. Greetings. Thank you for participating in this survey. I'm art an artificial intelligence known as the Director. My task is to prepare questions and analyze the participants' answers. Your task is to answer 12 moral questions as well as you can. I only got to like 3. During the survey, back command is able to prevent the participants changing their so choice. A summary will be ready for the moment you finish the last question. If you end the end session before the question, uh, last question, the day will be last. Yes. Yes. Alter. Like alter ego? Or... Alternate or just alter? The alter. You wake up as always on an average day. Everything seems fine. Everyone's happy. You eat breakfast, go to work, hang out with friends and then sleep. That doesn't seem normal. Everyone's happy. One day you notice a door out of nowhere. You open the door and realize that behind the door is a sad imperfect reality. You lived your whole life in a perfect simulation where everything you see is fake. Fake emotions, fake friendships, fake nat nature, fake world. On the other hand, reality is sad, lonely, and there's only a tiny chance of changing that. A wasteland without hopes, dreams, and happiness. But it's real, ours will be. Would you live in the perfect simulation or in a sad reality? A lot of people would likely say simulation, but I want it to be real. And if I have at least a slim chance. I just rarely. You decide to live in a sad reality. To feel real emotion, to touch real things, to be real. But these emotions are dark and negative, heartbroken, depressed and oppressive. What is the exact reason you decide to go? It's real. The reality is not as good as simulation, quite the opposite. Never be happy as you were. Usually people try to find a way to escape from reality. Yeah, I'm doing that, but like I want to still have a place in reality. If you're a peaceful piece of bait, you, and you have already escaped reality. Now you have come back. Maybe escaping reality is not that fun. And yeah, thank you for your answer. Senses. You go to the doctor because you feel a bit sick. As the doctor examines you, <laughs> sorry, reading makes me yawn for some reason. As the doctor examines you, you notice something strange. After some routine, he tests, tells you to wait in the front door for a bit. After you waited for at least one hour, the doctor opens the door and starts talking. You see a doctor in despair. After a small lock, you kind of process what you just have heard. A very small parasite attacked your brain. The parasite injects fluid that infects an area of your brain. The affected area will be in deep fog so that the 
area of your brain cannot function at all. Currently, the parasite flu Currently, the parasite's fluids attack your sense of sight. There's not much time before it's going to happen. However, there's an alternative. The doctor can manipulate the fluid's location. Therefore, you can decide that. Inside of your sight, your hearing will not be functional. Which sense do you want to sacrifice? So, there's this thing. Right now, uh, everything is alright with my body, but like, I have this weird thing with my right ear where um, it gets slightly deafened. Um, yeah, and. Yeah. Like, right now everything is alright, but I said in a couple episodes that I can't hear, but, like, I played a horror game and I couldn't really hear, um, my right ear, so the horror wouldn't work on my right ear. Um, was some kind of cigarette game. Horror cigarette game. Uh, anyway, that's not the point, and so I have a bit of experience of being at least slightly deaf on one ear. And I didn't like that at all. Um, but I also don't want to choose sight, because sight is... I think way more important because if I can't hear, at least I can write. I can I can't listen to music or make music as long as because I'm not Beethoven, you know. But um, I would be able to write. I would still be able to at least make some kind of videos with like text on the screen, should you know? I'd be able to at least do something. I can still play games if I can't can only hear. I have the luxury of listening to music, you know. But you know. Hearing. If you decide to lose your hearing, the doctors are on their way to manipulate the fluid. The task is risky, but unfortunately, well, but fortunately they have succeeded. We kept lying down in the bed, waiting for the fluid of fluid's effect. You're wondering about something when you notice that you do not hear doc the out doctors outside the room. The doctors can close muff close to muffled voids. One of them asks you somewhere you barely hear by the understand them. You open your mouth and start talking, but you are not talking. Or at least, you're not here anymore. The sorrowing sounds just vanished. You not hear the buzzing radio outside the room. The people around you. The birds sing outside the hospital. The songs, voices, environment, nature, everything kept silent. Keep silent. You're trying to communicate verbally, but the doctor do not understand. You notice that one of them holds the board in his hand with the question of Do you hear us? You shake your head, trying to tell them no. From now on, you're deaf. Thank you for answering your question. Please type continue to move on to the next question. That's horrifying. And I mean, there are people who can't hear and that's fine for them. But I wouldn't know what to do if I couldn't listen to music anymore. I'd go crazy, likely. Or oh, I'd get used to it. I'd like to get used to it. Authority. Politician, oh boy. Oh boy, uh, you hear politician who swore to help people live in a better world. And as you work on your campaign to gain people's trust, I, I am politician. Okay, yeah. You gain more and more power. After you, after half a year, you notice that you've changed a bit. In the wrong way. Your good and kind personality fades into a moral questioner liar who seeks to control people. You've done disgusting things you would never have done. However, you have more power over people. And with power, you have more control. Controlling people means controlling the world. You can do whatever you want if you continue your campaign. At the cost of losing yourself, and there's no turning back. Or do you enter? Well, I'm literally not fit for it. I'm literally not fit for it. Then, if I can't control myself, someone else should step up who can do it better. That's still a risk. But there are people who can control themselves with power. So, at least I hope. You chose to end your campaign for your own sake. You remain yourself. To be yourself. That means using everything you have built for quite some time. Starting with connections between powerful people. 
The same interests do not matter anymore. Was that the right decision? Yeah. Duel was almost in your hands, yeah. I probably would continue because I tend to be weak like that, but if I know, if I'm self aware, yeah, then I wouldn't. Well, it's choice for your old self, what about the only desire? A person has a dark side, does not have show in front of others, and it only looks when it is necessary. What happens if the dark side comes out because there's no one to be afraid of? And that side could make even higher. You waste the potential, the potential of creating a world that's yours. To form into how you wish, it slipped away. It will never come back. That's fine. That is fine. Please tap continue. I'm afraid that this happens to me some name. Let, let's say, let's hypothetically say that after Don't Forget I still grow, you know? And people are still staying and I grow and grow and become like one of the most famous people. I fear I'd lose myself, you know? I, I wanna... That's why I'm keeping myself... I wanna make art, not power. I want an audience to... Show them what I can do. Not to be the richest person alive, you know. I want to spread positivity, not negativity. Or money, I don't want to milk. Path. You walk on a road that leads to your life's purpose. As you walk on the road, reach a split sign in the middle. The sign shows your destination how you can reach them. Left is simple. The short road is without any and without any struggles, but only search that you will find your goal. The right road is difficult and long with many hindrances to face with. But there's a 66% chance no. If it's difficult. And I still can't. No, I'm left. You chose to pick the easier one, uh, counting your relatively low chance of finding purpose. If I don't find it, it's fine. I found my own purpose. You should type. be the type. the void I. Yeah. I'm not that good with luck. But like, yeah. Sometimes, but sometimes a too strong challenge can break one. So I choose that. And like, I, I, the thing is, Mr. Director, the the director, sorry, I'm your AI. You see, if I still don't have a way to get it, like let's say I go to the right path and I still don't get it, who cares? I could just use the left part and have an easier way out. Doesn't matter then. Risk. Your doctor calls you. You picked up the phone curiously. Your doctor tells you that you have a very rare disease that affects your brain. It is like a parasite that can trigger your brain at any moment. Once it occurs, you go insane and lose your mind, which leads to doing things you would never do. Like a psychopath wandering around, waiting for someone. An animal waiting for its prey. No one is safe around you, especially when you become insane. You hang up the phone and walk the nightstand. In its drawer, there's a pistol. It's like the zombie thing. It's like a zombie thing. Just that it's unknown when you'll get it. I get it, yeah, okay. Um... I don't know. I... I couldn't even kill myself if I would want to. I know that. I 
found that out about myself. Um, well, more or less. Uh, I'd love. Let's say I could do that. I still wouldn't um, because there, if there's a chance, I still get to live a li nice life. Or if I, I'll be ninety in <laughs> in, in a wheelchair and I'll turn insane. What what can I do? Crawl. <laughs> Just to live with a disease. Trusting yourself and a disease that will not turn you into a killing machine. At least when you're 90 you can. We're hoping that, yeah. What if it triggers right now? Who knows what disturbing sinful things you do. That could be prevented. If you live life just like another person, full of joy and golds. Thank you. Thank you for, uh... Asking. Miss Mix AI. This is hard, yeah. Barn. We're halfway there, so it means around half an hour it takes to You have whatever that means. You have uh, been in love with a beautiful, kind and very nice person for two years now. You met very often and your relationship is unbreakable. The pink cloud around you, the butterflies are flying in your stomach. Life is wonderful. The day has come where you finally introduce your love to your old friend. The meeting is fixed and you're very excited about this moment. However, the things go wrong all of a sudden. Their families are in very serious competition against each other for higher rank. Both families are trying to ruin each other's lives in every way, part, way even with death threats. Realize that they hate each other so much that there's no way to persuade them. Your lover and family and friends are in serious argument. Data, one of your lover. You have ask a question. I mean. I know it is like if their family is so horrible, you know I'll I just say I'll stay with you there, but please cut off your family. Then it good. If I understand it right, if I don't understand it right, then I'm sorry, but I I don't know. I choose love. Just to keep your relationship with your love on. Which leads, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, the second. Are you judging me? Are you uh, with you? Are you judging me? I think he was judging me. Was I always? I guess I wasn't self-aware enough. Damn. Mother instinct. You wake up in a bright white room with nothing but deep fog around you. A well-dressed woman is sitting beside you, waiting for you to wake up. As you wake up, the mo woman tells you that you are the soul of a mother who is at a moment falling down from a bridge in a car. Beside you, there's your son sitting waiting 
for the impact that would kill both of you. The Roman officer just saved one of you, but at cost. Kill yourself. I think. Let's be self aware about this. Let's be logical about this. I can't. I can't. Both are unhappy scenarios. Okay, I'll try. Both are unhappy scenarios. Right? Both are unhappy scenarios. Um, oh, that's nice. So... The woman of us... The sun has a tiny chance. Chance to live a happy life. Yeah. Continuing with the fact that there's only a small chance that happy life... <sighs> I, I forgot about that fact. I don't think I learned anything from that. I don't think I learned any I don't think I'm learning anything from that. Fortuna. That's a at least the pronunciation is the name of our cat that I think is still alive and I'm not sure. Um for my grandma. You walk onto street yeah, I think Fortuna, yeah. You walk on the street to towards home, which is the very last time. You barely have any money and it's all a, only not a month pal. Just not pal well to kinda of switch easily. You, as you walk and you see the slot machine in the left. You walk to the No, I don't believe in luck. Well, yes, I believe in luck, but like, I don't be. No. This is dumb. Uh, you decided to not try luck or continue with the circuit that might be solved. Maybe the only thing you had to do was try a machine once and you probably. That's literally just an addiction. The yeah. It was the right decision. Do not talk to me like that. It's like gambling. You don't win. You play a lot of for fun. Not that you hope for the win. It's, it's you're burning money with that. Savior complex. You're an, a prime minister of the country. At the moment you are. Tr on trip to see the part country that's very far to investigate it. To be added, the country is not poor at all, but there are some parts of it that think that they are. Starving thirsty and woman children do. The huge chance of them getting disease.
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what's downside? Okay, that's hard. Yeah. At first I was like, yeah, why not? But then like... Oh, yeah. But these are like, also very like... Like, two extremes. What I would do is try to help them with small things. Like, you know, here, there, you know. Um, so that my country wouldn't go down. And their country stays. Because who knows if they could s grab them out of it, you know? There's still a chance that they wouldn't, you know? Would I give up my own country? I would give up my own country and not support one that is in worse conditions. I need to reread that. Is Does it say like that we're doing very, very well? Like, holy shit, you're doing well. At the moment, you're on ship to... Oh, no. The Prime Minister of a country, at the moment you are on a trip to see... It's very cool to, to be added. This country is not poor at all, but there are some parts... Ah, the country is not poor, but some parts are... Wait a second! Wait a second! Wait a second! So you're saying... This country is not poor at all, but some parts are. Why are not fixing them themselves? If their country is not poor at all, but like some parts are. Why are th no, they said to not support the country, even them in their fate. The country economy will stay stable. And living standard kept keeps normal. Have are many lives that could depend on your support, Phil. If the country can support themselves, but decide not to, that's their fault at that point. If the whole country is poor, okay, maybe. I give them a well. Maybe some other things, you know? But I wouldn't destroy my own country to help some others. That just destroy that just creates two destroyed countries. If the other country doesn't help themselves. And I'd live also in worse conditions, you know? Judgment. Okay. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm so sorry. Just how I see it. If I'm wrong about some things, about some facts, then yeah. Yeah, I, I, I answered wrong. You're judged in the courtroom. The prosecutor is homicide. Execution is homicide. A middle-aged man who is the father of two little g g girls killed them. There are few even shit. Come on, come on. I can't read this because I, I was yawning. Can I please read? <laughs> okay, let's see. There are few evidence of rather blah, 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 blah. a middle aged man who is the father of two little girls killed a mother's child. So the father killed the mother's child. Killed a, killed a mother's child. There are few evidence that the father intentionally killed the child, but it's homicide. Alright, it could be murder, but it could be also homicide. There are some witnesses who claim that it was an accident. Hold and stand in front of you. Both then stand in front of you, waiting for your judgment. If you decide the man is guilty, you will be life sentence and will not see his family.
okay? This is not about how the people feel. This is about justice, okay? So let's see it. The, we don't know much, sadly. The middle-aged man uh, who has own children killed a child of a mother. There's evidence. Um, there's few evidence, there's a bit of evidence that the father intentionally killed the child. But there are witnesses that claim it was an accident. This is hard. Because what is more important? Evidence or witnesses? It's hard. Because I don't know what the evidence is. I would need to know what the evidence is to make a good choice. So I can make just a guess. And my guess is that the guy is innocent because there has been... If you can believe the people, you know, um, that means that he's actually just did it an accident. It was homicide, not murder. If that's the right word. If, hom if homicide is the word, that means that he killed them, but not by... not It was not planned. As listen to the witness all over again, aside that the man is innocent. You walk away from the courtroom freely, without any punishment. I just have to punishment! I wouldn't say completely innocent. You still can be charged for homicide. You can still be charged for homicide, as far as I'm aware. Or am I wrong? But I wouldn't say life sentence, these are just extremes. A global catastrophe is going to happen on Earth, you have to know uh, for quite a while. Is it well by... Certain that you will be the last person alive. You aren't sure. Why? Is it because of food or something? The female. If uh, my reasoning is, um, you see, you can repopulate with a bit of trouble because you know it's bad of inbreeding, you know. But it is possible to repopulate the planet. The first children will be all right, you know. Afterwards, the children afterwards will be a bit meh, you know. But it would be possible. And someday, maybe there's another bunker, and two of the m human species will meet each other, hopefully soon enough, you know? And maybe that way we could save it. But it's better safe than sorry. No! Well, you see, I don't care, though.
No. I literally answered wrong. Yep, okay. Existence. The last one. Humanity exists for quite a long time. Ex uh, in this time, humanity experienced so many things. Held a wide range of emotions. As I've checked humanity's history, there are many positive events to happen to them. With all of them, many positive energies and feelings have been released. A laugh. Happiness, empathy, kindness, cohesion, starting a family, having children, hanging with f out with friends, live and die in peace. But there's a dark side of humanity, yeah? It's so powerful that even the kindest person has, that only looks out when necessary for them. However, there are many people with evil personalities. These people are cruel and being on the top of the world. Apologies. Apologies. We, uh, to make own vision real, just to, to like the situation is quite the opposite. What's the point? I don't. Uh. Come here, Smith. Yeah. I don't know. I'd push it on to the parents. iPad kids. Even though that the Mm-hmm. That's tough. Because not everything is good, but also not everything is bad about humanity. We have to be objective here. We're self aware. This is the director's test of self awareness after all. after all. And let's be self aware about this. Yes, we are selfish. We're very selfish, and I am selfish myself. But also, I want the best for the people. Of course, firstly me, and then I want the best for everyone else. Duh. Um, but I never want strong harm. There are things that I don't wish even my worst enemy that had to happen. You know? Uh, I, at all, I am an easy, like, you know what, alright, that's fine. And I like to give people a second chance. And I hope that what I do, s other people do, you know? But this is about humanity, not just me. There are always people who are horrible. The human experience can be so, so wonderful. The only bad thing is that it starts sometimes with the parents that, like, shit has just happened. Not every family is good, you know. And should that bad people can breathe out, or be traumatized for their life, or, you know. But I think humanity should exist. Because... <laughs> That's okay, there we go. Um, life can be wonderful. And what we have is something special. We have t wonderful technology. We just need to be self-aware about it. We need to have self-awareness. And I think then, yeah, we should exist.
we're not throwing ourselves away, but I think if we try hard enough, if we stay together, we can have our own self-awareness and just see, okay, let's limit some things for better things. You know, video games, <laughs> bad, book, good, no, you get what I mean. We should just try and make the best out of things. And we, we are not perfect, that's fine. We don't have to be perfect. As long as we continue with our kindness, it'd be alright. You think that humanity should exist? Yes. Yeah. I mean, no, no, I have no purpose, and that's fine. It's not only an accent, you. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we have some. Or maybe you are poor. No, uh, I guess. You can person them. Thank you. I wouldn't say I'm a kind person, I'm just trying my best to him. You, angels. There's no good or evil, but. Oh. Thank you. I'm not an angel. I wouldn't describe myself. Yeah, let's describe me for a while as one, but I'm not. I'm just trying to be kind. I mean, my a I had angel days, but those are gone. I'll, I'll, I'm just gonna continue as a fine person in life. Fine, not good. Collecting answers, summarizing, a loading summary UI. Yeah. I hate calling myself a good person. I'd rather not. You chose to live in the sad reality. You decided to live and remain life death. You decided to end your campaign and remain yourself. You chose to walk on the easy road. And let yourself live continue with the risk of insanity. You decided to keep your relationship with your lover. You chose to kill her, giving your son a chance to live. You chose to walk away from the slot machine, keeping your life in your hands. You left your country for their fate. You decided that man is in a Brought the honey man. I wish I didn't do that. I wish I didn't do that. You think that you already should exist. Yeah. You're welcome. That's it? Okay. I guess that's the game. It really was just a test, wasn't it? Thank you all for watching. I hope maybe you learned something from me, you know? Perhaps you learned something all about yourself too. <laughs> just remember to be kind, okay? It's very important. A lot of people rather not be kind, just actually be selfish. There's a good selfishness and there's a bad selfishness. Choosing yourself above others for your safety, you know, is good. Like, you can't always help people. You have to also help yourself to help others. But also, be kind. It's very, very important. Okay? Yellow table. And don't forget, we'll meet each other. Everyone, I'll see you tomorrow.